In this video, we're going to learn about Next.js microservice. And this is how it's going to look like at the end of this video. So let's get started. For this video, I have created two different projects that are the publisher and also the subscriber. So this guy will be the microservice. First of all, referring to the documentation, we need to install a package called microservice. Um, let's try to install it first. And as you can see, I'm opening up my terminal and for your reference, I will need to install this for both of the project for the publisher and also the subscriber. Afterward, when it is done, we need to adjust a little bit on the main.ts file. Again, referring to the documentation, I will just copy and paste this whole code here and paste it into my subscriber. You only need to do this only for the subscriber, no need for the publisher. Now, we need to adjust the controller remove whatever existing code that it has and back on the documentation we will just copy and paste this whole code again I will explain in a little bit for simplicity I will adjust the pattern to be a simple hello and for this function it will just console log hello from microservice although it is not much at the moment let us try to start our application simply run npn run start colon dev you should run this for both the subscriber and also the publisher now that we have the subscriber listening to an incoming event, we should have an application that's going to execute the publisher. Again, referring to documentation, I will just copy the client module dot register into the publisher app dot module. So this one you don't have to copy and paste into the subscriber. Afterward, be sure to resolve all of the required imports for this application to run properly. Now getting into the fun part. Let's go into the controller. We need to adjust a little bit. So let's go back to the documentation and copy the constructor. We need to inject this into the publisher constructor. Remove the existing code and paste this. And again, be sure to ensure all of the import are imported. And afterward, we will modify the get hello function to make use of the client that we have injected just now. So this dot client dot send and hovering over it we can see it accepts two parameters. For the pattern, we can fill back to the microservice we have created before and this pattern will be simple hello. So let's write hello into the first parameter and the second one we can just leave it as a blank object. I'm going to remove the written keyword and set the written type as a void. Our microservice just now only console log hello microservice so it's not returning anything at the moment now let's check back everything is working okay and try to open our postman i will be hitting the endpoint of http localhost 3000 and let's see what is going to happen next as you can see the console log is not returning anything because it is an observable so we need to convert it into two promise that's the only changes so let's try to run back the postman and hit the endpoint now we can see the hello from microservice is being written in log so far we have only seen some simple implementation of the microservice now what if i want to sum up an array of number and i will adjust the pattern to be comment with value of sum and with this we need to adjust the microservice as well first let's adjust hello into the object of command with value of sum and then i will probably change the return type from void into a promise of number again let's change this to a sync function and remove the console log from this function i will need a parameter of values that are an array of number and then i will return these values and reduce all of it into a single sum so I will have parameter of accumulator and also the current value. So the formula is just accumulator plus the current value and we will get the sum of it. In the case that the user doesn't return us any array of numbers, we have to default it to an empty array. Now that it is done, um, let's try to save our application and head back to our publisher just now. And check everything is okay. We need to return the value from the microservice. And instead of returning with dot to promise, we can remove that. And then we can define the return type as number. But we need to take a look into what is the send function is. 
from the description we can see clearly it is retaining observable so we need to adjust this to be observable of number this observable we can import it from rxjs package it's done now let's try to save our application see if there's any error and then we can open up our postman and try to see what are the return value from our microservice so the sum will be 46 let us try to make use of what we have learned in this video series now what if i want to request with a body of these numbers and i want to know what are the sum value let's go to our publisher and adjust the parameter to accept body this body will be an array of number and with that let's try to replace this existing value with that body and with that let's go to the postman and try to see what are the calculated sum value let's try to add one more value and let's see the result great now let's try to summarize what we have learned today so we have publisher on the left and we have subscriber on the right hand side the publisher will submit a message and the subscriber will actively listen for any incoming message based on the postman that we have submitted just now we can copy the curl code into here you can see the result straight away let me try to console log to see the distinction between the publisher and also the subscriber and if we submit to postman again we can see that the console log is running on our subscriber i hope you guys enjoy watching this series be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell button as well i will see you guys on the next video